I don't have any issues with anybody who's gay or lesbian or whatever the fuck is under the rainbow flag. All right. Be you. That being said, I'm going to be talking about these suspect ass rappers that may have a lot in common with you. I went to this concert recently for a rapper called uh, O3 Herbo, something like that. I just went there just yesterday. And uh, I don't listen to that type of music. It's not really for me. I don't really fuck with that type of rap. And I have never fucked with that type of rap. There are some songs in that, like, that are like that that are, are kind of cool for the beat. The lyrics themselves are usually pretty shit. But, you know, I mean, for the most part, I don't really fuck with that type of rap. It's hard for me to get down with it because of the lyrics. And I'll explain why in a little bit. But first, just let me continue real quick. Again, went there, not really my type of music, but I went there for my brother, who is a fan of O3 Herbo. I think that's his name. Something O3. I don't fucking know his name. Um, I'm not going to say that I had a bad time, but <laughs> it just got me thinking about a lot of things. I didn't think to make a video until I saw a video from Long Live Langston. He made a video about this uh recently or sometime he made a video about it let's just say that anyways i seen his video and i was like man fuck he's right like he made the video and i was thinking that's exactly what the fuck i've been thinking i've been thinking the exact same shit so i want to speak my thoughts on it uh which is that again like i said at the start these rappers are suspect they're weird they're strange you might be saying what do you mean they're weird they're suspect what did they do that was gay it's a lot of things, right? It's not just one thing. It's a lot of things. Because just hearing it from one thing, you might be like, okay, well, that's not really gay. That's just, they're like hardcore thug rappers or whatever the fuck. You might think that. Okay, that's fine. But I think hearing them all together is like, it's weird. So I'm going to run you through why I think it, right? So let's just take O3, whatever his name is, right? Which I'm not even saying particularly that he is 100% suspect because I don't know all his lyrics. But the things he does is what a lot of these other rappers do, right? And that is, for example, we went to his concert. On stage, there is only niggas for the majority of the show. Just dudes. Now, look, within itself, that's not bad, okay? You can just be a rapper or be an artist who's only on stage with guys and not be weird. But then he's only on stage with guys and he's talking about, ah, oh, suck my dick and, ah, oh, fuck these bitches, fuck these, all this kind of stuff. And sometimes he's like, oh, I just only want the head and all that kind of stuff. It's like, okay. All right. Um, and then like at the, like near the end of the show or something like that, there was like one or two girls on there, but for the most part, it was just a bunch of dudes and the stage is really small, right? Like the stage is, is like, I would say no bigger than my room, right? And there's like, there had to be like six niggas on stage at least. And then they're all huddled together and then they're kind of like moving together. Like I don't, I don't personally particularly want to dance with dudes, me personally, right? I don't. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? I can make a joke or rap with somebody cool, but when it's like six or seven dudes in a in a, in a small area, I don't really want to dance. And it's funny, at the concert, I've seen people dancing, and the majority of people that were dancing were dudes. So it's like, okay. So you on a stage with all men, and then your concert cons consists of mostly men who are dancing to you guys dancing. You guys dance for them, and they watch, and they want to touch you, touch you guys, touch my hands, touch my hands, and there's dudes trying to, hey, give me a high five, bro, give me a, give me a high five, like, I don't know, it just, to me, it's like, where the bitches at, that's what I would think, right, if I was a famous rap star or famous anything, I'd be like, okay, where the bitches at, where the women, where the, where the females, you know what I'm saying, I mean, and again, I'm gonna say this, though, there's nothing wrong with being on stage with just men, by itself, there's nothing wrong with that, but again, with the lyrics and all and, and all it being an all male audience, mostly, mostly a male audience, I'm just saying. And then y'all dancing on a little stage, it's like together, like, I don't know. It's, that don't seem too hard to me. It seems more suspect. But that's that situation, right? Now and, and again, I don't want to speak 
say so much about O3 Herbo and specifically because I don't really listen to his music. I, I don't know nothing about him, you know, so I don't want to say some shit that he did and I don't know if he did it or not, right? I just know what I sent at that concert last night. Now, my a lot of people around me are very much into this type of music, though, and I've heard a lot of lyrics from these type of people, and I'm not going to say anybody specifically, but I'm just going to say modern rappers, you could say drill rappers. I don't know if they can count as drill rappers. If, if they count as drill rappers, maybe, but just modern rappers. A lot of them, right? Uh, they talk, they, they, there's a line I hear a lot from uh, these rappers, which is like, um, I just want the head, that's it. Right? That's one line I hear a lot. Um, I don't want your pussy, something like that. They be like, I don't want your pussy. I just want the head, that's it. Like, you don't want no pussy. Well, God, it, it wasn't funny. Just, it wasn't. It wasn't funny. Guy, he, it wasn't he, funny. He, it was gay. I mean, look, listen. I'm not saying you gotta fuck every girl, but it's like I, I, I would say if you listen to the the modern rap, if you listen to modern rap for like, I'm saying like a hundred of them, you will not hear one song where one of these dudes is talking about they want to have sex with a girl. They will say they want to have sex or they want to get some head. But if they say they want to have sex, they're not being specific about no females. And even then, they be saying the most wild, wildly outlandish type shit they want to do to a female. Like, oh, yeah, I want to kick her in the face. Oh, I want to beat her ass. Oh, I want to spit on her and all this kind of shit. Like, you want to disrespect the shit out of her. Now, look, I get it. There's a difference between bitches and women. I understand that. But you're a famous rap star, right? You're this rich guy. You got this money. You, 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 I mean, even if you're a gangster, like, you don't want a nice girl or a girl that's at least not a bitch. You want your girl that's with you to be a bitch? Why would you want that? Why would you want, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? I get it. You can make songs about bitches, but you ain't got one song for ladies or one thing you're going to say about the ladies, you're going to be like, fuck that. I think the only thing, the, the least, the only line I could say I've heard from a modern rapper where they're not saying nothing bad about a, 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 a female, right? One time, and this is, it was surprised the fuck out of me. It's from, I believe it was V's or Babyface Ray. And it was in a leaked song at that. I don't think the song even got released, but we'll see. Uh, he says, um, oh, girl, don't do that. You know, I got a girlfriend or some shit like that. He was basically like, oh, you know, I got a girlfriend. That was it. I ain't never heard nothing. That was the only line. He's like, girl, don't do that. You know, I got a girlfriend. Don't take no pictures with me. I got a girlfriend, something like that. Like, I was like, wow, okay, that's surprising. I didn't think the nigga had a girlfriend. I thought this nigga, I don't know. I'm That's surprising. You got a girlfriend? Wow. Wow, bro. Shit. And another thing, too, is these dudes, they love talking about they niggas. Talking about they boys talking about their friends and all this kind of stuff. They're male friends. They love talking about them. They love to say, I, I would I would ride for my niggas. I would die for my niggas. I would do all this kind of shit. Which, hey, I get it. You know what? Would I die for 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 a homie? Nah, I'm I wouldn't die for a dude. I'm sorry, bro. I mean the only people the only person I would probably die for is my dad and my mom, my, my brothers. <laughs> And just my family in general, but I, I don't I don't know if I would die for the homies. I'm sorry, I, I got to keep it real. I, I I can't say I would die for the homies. Would I fucking like lie for the homies? Yeah, fuck yeah, I would do that. You know what I'm saying? But die? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we we getting robbed and a, and a nigga pull a gun out on us, and you thinking I'm gonna jump in the front, jump in front of the bullet for you? Fuck that! Yeah, nah, nah, no, I'm not doing that, bro. What the fuck? Now. Like, okay, if it's, I mean, it depends on the context, of course. It depends on the context. I mean, you know, if the nigga saved my life, yeah, I would save his. Or if the nigga, you know, was my daughter's, uh, he saved my daughter's life or some shit. Or the nigga, you know, saved my wife's life. Whatever the fuck I'm saying, it depends on the context. But, yeah, in certain contexts, I would help a guy or save, a, risk my life for a dude, even if he's not the homie. In certain contexts, but in general, I don't want to give my life up for no nigga. What the fuck? Sound like some gay shit to me. I don't I don't care about you. You don't give you shouldn't give a shit about me. What the fuck you want from me? I don't want nothing from you. Why the fuck you want something from me? Let me reiterate, don't do shit for the homies. Back to the lyrics of these rap songs. It's that like, 
yeah, like, it's just a lot of these songs that consist of, like, they homies and things they want to do with their friends and all this kind of shit. It's like, you're so close with your homies and your friends and all this kind of shit, and that's cool. But all you want to do is hang around dudes? Homies over homies. All day? Homies over homies. That's all you want to do, just hang around men. You do the whole man. Talk about how much you hate other men. That's all you want to do. You just want to hang out with niggas with dicks in between their legs. That's all. You don't want to talk about no bitches. And if you do want to talk about some bitches, you only want some head. Which is something a guy can do. I don't know. I just I feel like a lot of these guys are saying shit like, I just want the head, that's it. Because at the end of the day, they don't want no pussy. They saying they want the head, that's it. Just so y'all niggas think they're talking about a girl. But in reality, they saying that because they down low... And, hey, I can talk about my, my gay fantasies or my, my gay my gay conquests through this rap if I just say some shit like, oh, I just want the head. I'm not being specific on who I want the head from. It's like, okay. But I just, I don't know. I don't understand the hate for women in modern day rap. I don't get it, right? Like, I understand that nowadays between men and women everything is divisive and that you know there's this big gender war going on i get that and i understand again i'm gonna say this that there's a difference between bitches and women i get that but it's like i don't understand how someone can genuinely hate women i don't get it i love women i love them i love women i love everything about women i love being around women like I mean, they're just, they're so, they're soft, they're supple, they're, they're kind, they, they're, they're like, I mean, they're, 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 you know, they're, they're, they're just fun to be around. They just, and they just, they just want to have fun. And I love when girls just want to have fun. That's not like that. I love that shit. That's great. I like, I mean, like, shit, I, I, I literally say this to my brother all the time, which is that just having a girl around makes things fun. Not even a fucker. But girls just no fun shit to do. Like, literally. They just they just be doing fun shit. It's aimless bullshit that I would never think about. But I'm going to tell you this. I have fun when I'm doing it. Especially when I'm doing it with a girl. It's fun. And remember, nothing says good job like a firm open palm slap on the behind. And again, you don't got to be fucking them. Like, I don't have to fuck a girl to be like, I still love women. I do. I love everything about them they're fun they're great and now again you might say oh that stuff you just said at the start that's not, that doesn't apply to every girl not every girl is is kind not every girl is is soft and smells good and all this blah 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 look listen okay i get it but i mean for the majority of women i met in my life they're all like that okay now in the day that's not the case no more well i would still prefer women over men fucking i don't want nothing from a man all right there's nothing from a man i want okay like it's cool. I can hang out with the homies, but I'm not trying to be with the homies 24-7. I would rather be with a girl 24-7, right? And I'm not the type of guy that's, like, trying to fucking be under her all day or some shit. I'm not saying that, but I'm going to spend some good amount of time with her. I, I tell you that, it's fun. I love it. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, yeah... I'm going to say this, though. I'm a person that likes to be by myself most of the time anyways. But if I am going to spend some time with somebody, I'm going to spend some time with some women, some bitches. You know what I'm saying? I'm not meant to spend no time with no dudes. Even, even if I'm spending time with bitches, I would rather spend my time with bitches than some dudes. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like for real. Like, that's, that's, that's just me being real. I think that these modern rappers, just for me, in my opinion, why I think they're suspect is just because... That's just not the way I grew up. That's just not the way I seen things. And I seen, I guess, typically masculine straight men, which was the way they're talking about it. They want to hang around dudes all day. And maybe they're not suspect. Maybe it's just me thinking this, but I don't know. I I wouldn't bend over in front of them. I, I mean, I wouldn't fucking, I wouldn't trust them to not do that. I mean, like if, if God came down to earth and said, listen, do you think this nigga's gay or straight? And if you're wrong and he's gay, I'm going to fucking send a lightning bolt and fucking kill you right now. Are you making that bet? 
I would say no, I'm not making that bet because that nigga is definitely gay. <laughs> that nigga's gay. I'm sorry. That's what I would think. I would, I, I would actually, I would put more money on the fact that these dudes are gay than straight. But hey, that's just me. And it's funny. This video is kind of turning into now like why fucking dudes just hate women so much and why do women hate men so much? I wish that things didn't have to be that way because at the end of the day, like we shouldn't hate each other. We really shouldn't. If you have a particular man you don't like, say fuck that man. If you have a particular woman you don't like, say fuck that bitch. But not all of these women are the same and not all of these men are the same. So I don't know, just this, this fucking, I can't wait until this gender war is over, though. That's all. I just can't wait for it because I have no issues with women. I love you women. I love women so much. Y'all, y'all make me so happy. So happy. Just, the, just being yourself, just having fun. Even when y'all do, you say some stupid shit. It's still funny. It's entertainment. Y'all entertain me. I love that shit. And I would much rather watch some bitches than watch some niggas do anything anything do anything i don't give a fuck okay well wait pause i would okay not anything because i don't really fuck with female rappers actually let's talk about that real quick before i go female rappers i want to say this real quick before i go i don't fuck with modern day female rappers either they're fucked up in a lot of ways they're doing i mean i want to say the same shit men are doing but they're acting like men that's the problem. These female rappers nowadays act like men, and it's like, but they're women. But it's not, it's not attractive, though. It's not like you just being men. It's like, I mean, you're still a, you're still a girl. You know that, right? But I mean, all the shit you talk about, oh, I'm gonna fuck him and leave him and all this kind of shit. Like, okay, I get it. Like, it, it to me, it just sounds like you, you're just a, a, a cheap hoe. Even if you're saying you're getting money, it just sounds like you're a hoe. But I'm not going to be the type of person that's going to say I don't like female rappers. Because that's not true. I fuck with female rappers. In fact, I actually, I love female rappers. There's many female rappers I fuck with. And, but most of those female rappers are from the 90s and the early 2000s. Like, fucking, um, I rough rough and stuff with my Afro Puss. What's her name? Fucking uh, Lady of Rage and fucking, um, Left Eye. Which a lot of people don't know she was a rapper, but she was a rapper. You know, there's a lot, a lot, of, a lot of female rappers that did it, especially in the 90s. That were fucking amazing. And they just rapped. And they were just like. It's not the fact that. It's like they weren't trying to be. But it was like. They weren't trying to be dudes. Like nowadays. They're just trying to be dudes. Or they're trying to be super thotty. It's like. Yo. I don't want to hear that shit. Me personally. I don't want to hear that. That's not fucking. That's just weird. Like I don't know. And I'm not going to listen to a song about you fucking. Doing all this fucked up shit to a man. And then I'm just going to be cool with it. Like nah. I don't want to hear that. Now if it's like a line or so. Like I mean. I don't care. Like, like again, I'm going to bring up Lady of Rage again. I don't want to even say none of her lyrics. But she has lyrics where she's talking about doing stuff to dudes. And, you know, hey, look. I get it. If that's what you want to do. That's cool. I don't I don't feel bad about that. But what, that wasn't really like her whole fucking song where she's just talking about being a hoe and, and how she don't care about fucking anything and doing anything and doing all this kind of shit and how wet her pussy is and blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't want to hear that. Mm, that's That's another topic almost. In a sense, that's another topic. But, yeah, these rappers nowadays are suspect, man. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand. And this is going to come off as me trying to insult them. But I'm really not trying to insult them. I'm just trying to understand. Like, why do y'all fucking hate women so much? And if you don't, like, you really make it seem like you do. You make it seem like you like your homies in a sexual way. And it, it just, it it don't click for me. And I just, I can't rock with that type of music. It's not cool to me. Like, y'all instrumentals are cool as fuck. Don't get me wrong. That shit's cool as fuck. But this thinking about your ops all day, thinking about other men all day, and that's all that's on your mind, is just not relatable to me at all. I don't, I don't want to think about that. And I don't, and also too, I don't got no ops. I don't want no ops. Why? This this fucking this gangster shit, man. This fucking thug shit, man, is stupid as fuck. I mean, look, I get people that have to have to do this shit. It's just they like and they gotta do it. That's one thing. But there's people out there that just want to be gangsters. They don't got no thug bone in their body. They ain't doing it because they got to. They doing it because they want to. They want the street cred. And those people, I don't get. 
I get people that were born into it. I understand y'all. Y'all got a different set of circumstances. But people that just like just like to dress like thugs and act like thugs, like, bro, you're not a thug and you're not a gangster. There's nothing wrong with that. I feel like nowadays people get being a gangster conflated with being a man. Like, no. No. Don't those two things are not like you don't need to be a, a gangster to be a man. You can be a man without being a gangster. And just because you're not a gangster, don't mean you got to act all proper and, and walk around with a stick up your ass. I'm not saying that. You know what I'm saying? You can you can talk with a little slang and not be a gangster. You can sag your pants and not be a gangster. You can you can uh have dreads and not be a gangster. In fact, dreads don't come from gangsters or thugs or nothing like that. Same thing with sagging. It's, it's just, again, the problem is, though, is when you're trying to act hard. And then, like, you get the, the, what you think is hard is coming from dudes that are suspect. So to everybody out there looking up to these rappers thinking that I want to be like them because these niggas are, are real men. Or these niggas are showing me how to be a man, which I'm assuming you're young if you're thinking this. If you're not young and you're thinking that, then, bro, you really need to get some fucking help. But for the young, youngsters, and yes, I know I look young, but I'm not that young. For the young people out there, there's other ways to be a man. In fact, I'm going to tell you right now, being a man is just being true to yourself. If you're not from the ghetto, if you're not from the hood, if you're not really putting in no work, if you're not actually out there actively putting in work, you ain't no thug and you ain't no gangster. Why do you want your life to be worse? Like, I don't think, I don't think people understand that, you know, that life is not fun. And it's not a long one neither. All right, I know you—you you probably young as fuck. You you niggas under twenty is thinking, oh, it don't matter. I'ma die young anyways, and I don't give a shit. You're not gonna be thinking the same thing when you got a bullet in you and you laying in the hospital room, right? I mean, you might be thinking, I just want to be put out of my misery, but then you also be thinking, why the fuck did I do this? Why did I do this? That's what you're gonna be thinking. All right, don't do it. Don't don't do this shit. Don't follow these fucking rappers, these suspect ass rappers that don't give no shits about you. Because I'ma also tell you this, a lot of these rappers are actors. They're pretending, they're playing a role. Uh like Future. He he says he doesn't even do the drugs he talks about. But he talks about it. And the point is, a lot of these rappers and people that are famous, they talk about shit they don't actually do because they know you're gonna buy it. Not because they actually do it, not because they give a shit if it's real or not. They're doing it because they know you're going to buy it. That's it. That's why, in my opinion, rap from the 2000s and under was better. Even if you take out the fact that it was just better lyrics and better beats, even if you take those facts out of the case, at the end of the day, I'm a person that appreciates somebody being real, right? Those rappers were closer, were, were being real, Right? They were actually talking about things that they actually either grew up around or grew up doing or are doing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying just because you rap about it, you have to do it. Because, like, Ice Cube, he didn't fucking do all the shit he rapped about. But, again, he grew up around that kind of shit. And also, he was kind of teaching a lesson with the shit he was saying. You know what I'm It wasn't just like, oh, I'm just saying it and whatever. Like, no. Like, in my summer vacation, he's talking about a young man. Who's doing all this gangster thug shit. And at the end he's like oh yeah. I got caught by the police and now my life is fucked. It's over. And this nigga's, on, the nigga's under 20 something. And now his life is over. Literally. And he's in prison for life. Like that's a lesson in that. This fucking gangster shit is stupid. Why do that when you can go fucking do anything else? You could be on a beach somewhere. Fucking a hot bitch. You could be on a beach somewhere. Fucking a hot bitch. While another bitch. Is rubbing your back with some lotion. Drinking a martini while you're doing it. But no, you would rather be here in the trenches with other niggas trying to hunt down other niggas. And then once you get them other niggas, what you gonna do? Hang out with your niggas some more? That's stupid, guys. I didn't is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Maybe call over some thotties and get some head and that's it. No pussy. No pussy. Just some head. Just no pussy. You don't want no pussy. You just want some head. Yeah, I couldn't be me though, man. I I I love pussy too much. I love pussy too much, man. I mean, I and I and, I, and I'm gonna I'm really I'm gonna end it on this. I'm gonna tell you right now, the pussy is so good, man. I mean, I'm telling you, it could it could it could 
is a reason. Like, the, if you stressing, if you having a bad day, if you just in a horrible mood, pussy will take that shit away. Just for that moment. For that moment, some good pussy will take your worries away. There's a reason why the world hasn't been destroyed. Because people in power got pussy. People in power, people in power got pussy. That's why the world hasn't been destroyed. All right? Pussy is keeping the world running and alive. I urge all men under the sound of my voice. If you don't have a pussy, get you one. They are a valued commodity in the universe. I'm not saying go fuck random whores and random bitches. No. Find a lady and fuck her. And I'm telling you. You're going to be like, bro, head does not compare to this at all. Like, I've had head. I've gotten a blowjob. I've gotten my dick sucked. I know what it's like. But I 100 million percent would rather fuck. I would rather get some pussy. 1 billion percent. Yes, getting my dick sucked is great. I lo- I look, getting your dick sucked is amazing. But putting that over getting some pussy? Ah, uh, no, no, no. No. Here's the formula for you. Fuck some pussy. Get some head. Good night. That's the formula for you. It's not get some head and be done. No. Like, I'm watching this show Mad Men. And the dude got some head from the bitch. And he was like, oh, yeah, you know. That's great. When we go do the real thing. Like, that's what niggas used to talk about. Like, that's not even a real thing. That's just a, we just toying around. That's a game. Fucking, fucking, that's a game. That's like. That's just two steps above jerking off, bro. Getting 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 head is just two steps above jerking off, bro. That's what I think. Getting some pussy is just that's like taking the elevator up to the 50th floor, bro. It's a whole different whole different thing. It's a whole different thing, man. Anyways, though. Peace.